when he was this big, and his feet were he had human feet that were that <laughs> long, about that wide, lay on your lap, put his little feet, his back feet straight up in the air, like a little, little baby. Bart Feel knew me. when he was on camera, he'd get that look like this and he'd put out that lip and it would just be like, man, Bart, you're good. And he was. His chest would be a little bigger and he'd look around and, and he'd just get that magic going. To me, he was a person. He was my soulmate, and he was, uh, he was, he was symbiotic to me. He was my comrade. We noticed one June a bump on his wrist, and we watched it closely. And we had the vet come look at it. My name is Doug Seuss, and this is my lifelong friend, Bart the Bear. Um, we did put him under anesthesia and the crew over there performed a biopsy of the mysterious lump and yeah, the worst news it could be, it was cancerous. They were able to extend his life by about a year and... Year and a half. Year and a half, yeah, a year, three months to a year and a half. And um, finally it was just too ominous of a, you know, it, it could, I, I could feel lumps like in his neck and and uh, he, he finally told me he wanted to go. He looked at me with his last breath and he actually he actually looked me right in the eyes. He blew his last breath right into my mouth. He, he thanked me. Bart's life was prolonged by the expertise of caring vets. Sadly, he eventually died. But that's not the end of the story. Before Bart died, Doug and Lynn were blessed with two orphaned grizzly cubs. The Alaska Fish and Game called me when they were four months old and they had been with their mother. Their mother had been shot and they were free ranging wild grizzlies and uh, they asked me if I would take them and I thought oh wow what a challenge you know because uh, of course they didn't have uh, that those that first four months with you which is uh, you know critical little Bart and the term little is relative and his sister honey bump are carrying on big Bart's legacy in the movies Fight. Doug is going through training routines here with Honey Bump. Happy Bear, Happy Bear, Happy Bear, Happy Bear, Happy Bear. Shake your head, shake, 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 shake. Oh, cool. Training is a lot of work, but there's also time for some fun. that Bart waited until he, he knew that we would be so busy taking care of these two little orphan ones that he hung on and he hung, hung on, on and he hung, hung on, on until he knew we'd be all right. And I wasn't going to name another Bear Bart and Little Bart's precocious nature and attitude and stubbornness and and uh, effusiveness and naughtiness, naughtiness and <laughs> all that called for his name. Grizzlies are as diverse of personalities as humans. You have curious, uncurious, uh, profound, deep thought ones, ones that don't think that heavily, you know, uh, but still in their process, still extremely intelligent. So, I, you know, I just love bears. 
Doug and Lynn's love for Bart has manifested itself in another way. They started a foundation in Bart's memory to buy back habitat for grizzlies and other animals. That organization is vital ground. We couldn't really make up to Bart the fact that he was born in captivity, that he spent his life in our life, in our human world, but it's something we could do in his name for his wild brothers and we knew what we had to do to give back, to give Bart a legacy. The first thing we did was just take our retirement fund and buy a ranch and give it back to the wild ones. We are directly, immediately affecting the health of our planet. You can have a beautiful mountain out there and it looks gorgeous, but if it doesn't have the wildlife in it, it's just scenery. It's not really alive. Hello, my name is... <laughs> he may be big and strong. <laughs> Hello? No, wait, wait. Hello? My name is Doug Seuss. Easy. <laughs> Oh, I love you. Quit turning your head. Okay, wait. All right. All right, I never quit. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. We want to... Hi, what? Hello, my name is Doug Seuss, and this is my lifelong friend and companion. <laughs> Bart. Now, get off. Get off!